Hi, my name is Martin Gadsby of Optimal, and today I'd like to talk to you about the application of PAT to different industries, processes and products. Any process industry could benefit from PAT, no matter whether it's a batch process or a continuous process. But typical industries are life sciences, chemical, fast-moving consumer goods, oil and gas and food and bev. If you're producing a high quality product, high value product, producing it regularly, then very much PAT is applicable to your process. Sampling is critically important in a PAT system. The bottom line is, if you can't measure the attribute you're interested in, then you can't run PAT. But for most applications, there is a solution. The key thing is to work with instrumentation specialists who can help you to select the correct instrument to run experiments to test to see whether they can indeed measure the quality attributes you require using their technology. Things you have to consider are how many product types you produce and how often you produce each of these products. You also have to look at the product itself. Is it homogeneous? Is it heterogeneous? Is this a new product or is it a legacy product? Would holistic quality assurance be of benefit to your company? One misconception is that once one model is developed, then that will be applicable to all products. The chances are it won't. The chances are you'll have to develop a model or models for each product you produce. If you're scrapping a lot of high value product, then PAT is for you. If it's a new product, the scale up time can take a long time. You might be talking months. Now, if you can cut months off of the time taking a product from R&D to manufacturing, then that can be effectively an extension of your patent life. And if you've got a high value product, then extension of your patent life is big money. If you can reduce your manufacturing time, if you can actually increase the yields, then you have the opportunity to not only produce more on the same equipment, but actually maybe not invest in as much new equipment as you thought you needed. So if you want to manufacture a new product, then maybe you only need a third of the manufacturing equipment that you previously thought you wanted. And then work in progress. Some customers are converting from batch to continuous. If you're high value raw materials, that's a huge reduction in cost of work in progress. You may well be able to reduce the energy consumption, also a reduction in manufacturing footprint. If you're now doing quality by design, as opposed to quality by testing, then the cost of QC testing drops. If you're running a regulatory controlled environment, then maybe this means less regulatory oversight, which not only reduces the cost to the regulators, but it also reduces the cost to you of all the auditing requirements. If you would like to deploy PAT, and if you have any questions, if you have any issues, then please do phone Optimal and we'll be delighted to help you.